as Dustin was saying, there's a pretty big sea change in how we're talking about the elements on the platform. And so over the last few months, I've been talking to many people in this room, asking what your questions are so we could make sure that from Sprout, we could do the best job that we possibly can to support all of the good work and all the good thinking that's gone into badging in 2014 and 2015 to continue this great work in 2016 using this new tool. As Dustin was saying, and we're going to say it over and over, City of Learning continues in 2016. And this year, the tool that we're using is LRNG. Okay, so first question. How is this thing different from last year? Again, it builds on the old platform, but it's been changed for the better. And just as Dustin was saying, this new platform really elevates the importance of badges by introducing the XPs and the idea of a playlist that leads to a badge. So that's actually pretty exciting, and it speaks to a lot of the needs that we've heard from community members over the last couple of years about wanting to really make sure that the learning represented by these badges is rigorous and robust and real. Um, so, the other big thing that's very important is that the badges should be representative of a substantive learning outcome and unlock opportunities for youth. When we talk about unlocking opportunities, like a great example is the labs at the library, at the Carnegie Library. The idea of maybe you could go through a playlist of activities and it ends with you then have, you get a badge for uh, having learned how to use to, uh, certain tools like in the digital labs, perhaps like now you know how to appropriately use a camera, and then the badge that you earn for having learned how to do that might unlock the opportunity to check out equipment. Things like that. When we're talking about unlocking opportunity, we're talking about a real thing in the world that youth can do. Big question that we have heard from many people. Can I use my old badges? Here's the answer. You can use them as an inspiration, but they'll need to be updated and refined for LRNG. The formatting probably won't match exactly. Specifically, some of your old badges will probably now become XPs, and you may need to create a new meta badge that represents how all of those now XPs might connect. Practically, from a practical standpoint, we still have all of your data from last year. So if you, want to, if you don't have it saved locally and you want to get it from us, we've got it. We can talk. Very happy to help you with that and to figure out the most efficient way to have you get all of that and use it again, um, whether it's just for inspiration, if you decide to completely start over again and go, you know, okay, I, now that I think about it, if I think about it in terms of these new elements of what local XPs are and what digital XPs are and how those would interact in the real world of my program, then fine, start from the beginning. But we can absolutely help you along the way um, with using what you've already thought about and created in the past. 